may have a fish on it. The boom, there he goes. All right, folks, if you're a subscriber to the channel, welcome back. If you're new, welcome, and please consider subscribing. And if you do, you got to hit the little bell. That way you'll be notified when these new videos come out. Hey, listen, uh, on this, I'm doing something a little different. I've been out chasing catfish all day. Uh, the bite was not really that great, and I came across these arches. We see these things every winter. Many anglers, friends of mine, have seen them. They've tried to fish them. they tried to catch them. Bottom line is, we don't know what they are. Um, and in this trip, uh, what I'm gonna do is try to park on top of them and see if I can get one to bite. That's the thing, we've seen these arches out here for many years. Uh, and we spent time fishing around them and stuff. And uh, never had any luck catching whatever it is. So uh, we've kicked around all kinds of ideas. I've dropped cameras down, but it's too dark to really see anything. It's just a... Uh, exercise in uh, futility trying to catch one of these things so don't know what it is i got a feeling it's carp uh, is is what i'm leaning toward i think if it was catfish or you know a flathead a big pack of flatheads we would have caught one by now so i got a feeling this is a carp maybe gar even though it don't look like a gar signature uh who knows i know they kind of become inactive in the winter time so uh so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know which it is. I just know uh, it, it stops a lot of people to look at it and try to fish it and try to catch it. Myself included. Alright, so what I'm doing is basically spot locking over these things using my trolling motor and my remote control to sit on top of them. It's a massive school of arches. Uh, big fish, whatever they are. We've seen them out here before and never been able to catch them. I don't know if they're carp, catfish, gar what they are but there's a lot of them they're stacked up signature looks pretty thick and i've got lines suspended pretty much hanging right in front of their face so we'll see if we can hit one in the head get one to bite if all that fails i may throw a cast net on them I may have a fish on it boom there he goes that is a fish Finally gonna get to see what these are. Kinda just hit it and sat there with it. Oh there he goes. basically did was spot lock on top of these things now it's just gonna be a matter of keeping this thing out of these other lines finally get a look at what these fish are gar <laughs> Very lethargic long nose gar. Very lethargic. Normally they're going nuts in the boat. They're staged up and inactive. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Mouthful of teeth on them. Very inactive. Get him back. There you go, folks. Gar. At least what I caught was a gar. Maybe there's some other fish down there, but 
that fish was very lethargic. Uh, normally you get a gar on a boat, water temperatures are up, they go crazy, they go nuts. Water temperature here is about 50, 51, 52 degrees, so it's pretty chilly. Uh, these are warmer water fish, uh, and they like warmer water better. They're very active uh, in warm water, so I got a feeling these things might just stack up in here, and that's what's happening. They just stack up, become inactive, and sit there and wait on summertime. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.